Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. And today we shall discuss on the eclipse, which we have discussed earlier in one very long video for every ascendant. But today, uh, many of you had requested me to uh, show uh, using uh, a horoscope to how to identify uh, we, what kind of activities can happen, what kind of things can an eclipse trigger. Okay, because many times what we do we just see oh my eclipse is happening in third house so maybe i'll travel but then you will travel but for what reason why will you travel okay so therefore uh, let's try to understand this in a deeper level okay rather than just uh, fearing this okay this will happen the world will be destroyed and all these things all right or trying to uh, think 10 times or oh, what will happen so let's not speculate and when we have a beautiful tool like astrology we can always use it to uh, get an idea of which houses or which planets can get activated okay and this has multiple layers to it and discussing everything in this video is not possible so i will just show you some preliminary steps and i'll also give you some insights for how to do more analysis on this okay uh, using an example chart uh, because eclipses will happen every year so does it mean every every year every house will get activated like this what does it mean basically okay so if you have not watched uh, the uh, video for all ascendants then i will put it down in the description section uh, and uh, if you're new then please subscribe to it uh, the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding this eclipse you can go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody right and now i shall share my screen there you go so i've just taken a basic chart i've taken a lagna chart all right so uh let's ignore how chart lagna chart and all this as of now just, just try to understand the approach okay so here uh, you see this is a capricorn ascendant okay and i will not be able to reveal the birth details because of uh, confidentiality reasons so where is mrikshira falling for this person mrikshira is falling in the uh, i mean the eclipse degree that is falling in the sixth house okay because this is not in the mrikshira of taurus this is in the mrikshira of gemini okay so therefore we know that uh, the sixth house related themes will be active okay but now the thing is uh, what will happen will this person get a new job or something like or there will be new beginnings in job or something what will happen now suppose we know that he will get a new job okay but then how what will be the nature of the job what kind of a profile will uh, he or she have after this job okay so for that we have to check dashas so first check your dashas then you should check this okay so now the thing is whichever house your eclipse is happening depending on your ascendant if there are prominent planets in trines to that then this eclipse is really going to be prominent or you can take it the other way around uh, if if you want to know uh, which planets or which houses will be uh, strongly affected by this eclipse you can also check the trines or check that house itself so now here gemini is empty so that, therefore what we have to do we have to check the trines which is aquarius and um, we also have to check libra okay? the other air signs so now you see the 10th lord is there here this is a great mahapurush yoga this is um, very good because venus is placed in uh, mool trikon okay in the kendra this is a big mahapurush yoga actually and he's also the lord of the fifth house in the 10th it's a great placement to have and what about jupiter jupiter is the lord of the 12th house situated in the second and he's also the third lord all right so therefore point to be noted the lords of the third, twelfth, and fifth and tenth are in trines to this eclipse. All right. Uh, therefore, uh, we can understand that this eclipse is going to be crucial uh, regarding these houses. Okay, not just crucial blindly regarding these houses also. But then we have to check uh, what is the overall flow of the horoscope. Okay, because if the overall chart is not supporting something. Uh, then uh, whichever eclipse it is, uh, it can't have a massive impact in your life, okay? either good or bad. So even if it is a good or it's a bad, it must be supported by the overall horoscope. Okay? 
So now the 10th house, the 10th lot is in trines, okay? Venus is in trines to Gemini. So you have to check the situation of the 10th house. How, what's the power of the 10th house for this person to get name and fame? If you take 10th house, for example. So you see the Lagnesh is in 11. This is a fantastic placement. This is the best placement you can have. And then the 10th lot is there in the 10th. Okay, very great placement. The ninth lord is exalted here. So these three houses are very prominent actually. Okay, so therefore, uh, then sun is also in the ninth, of course, and a uh, moon is also in fifth. Okay, it is aspecting the Lagnesh in the eleventh, uh, moon Saturn. So therefore, um, this chart has a lot of power to get you know name fame power position and all this and this person is also in a very big uh, authority position currently so therefore you know that um, this eclipse because this is in trines to the 10th house and 10th lord this will be a very big big eclipse for him okay uh, now suppose uh, this eclipse was not in gemini this was in libra okay what would have been the difference then this eclipse would have been more prominent but the difference is uh, that sixth house can uh, necessarily uh, sixth house may necessarily give you some change of workplace, but it doesn't change your uh, life purpose, okay? Or it doesn't change your uh, area of work or the stream where you are working. So, if there's an eclipse in the tenth house, you may feel that your uh, life path has only changed, okay? If there are prominent planets in the tenth or in second or sixth or in eleventh, also it can happen. But now will the life totally change? I mean, will he go into a different career zone or change his stream? No, not necessarily because this is an eclipse in the sixth house, okay? Yes, now if this person was unemployed, it would happen that this person gets a job, okay? So then now we understood that uh, this eclipse is going to be uh, quite prominent for this person, okay? Uh, but then now the question comes, uh, prominent regarding which area actually, okay? Because we can't just, just say it's prominent, but then prominent for what so we understood that there will be some uh, new beginning related to the sixth house which is you know daily work so there can be some change of uh, company or you know change of organization change of position something but overall the person will be doing the same thing uh, at the end as essence does not change that happens when there's an eclipse in the 10th house if there are uh, important planets there okay and because everybody will have eclipse in 10th house uh, but uh, not that everybody will change their life suddenly okay now you see which is the other planet which is in trines it is jupiter so the 12th house the third house is coming somehow okay and uh, therefore we can conclude uh, that uh, there will be something which is very prominent related to foreign lands i would say and if you also check here uh, this uh, moon, which is the uh, lord of the seventh house, because uh, this is Cancer here. Uh, this is this is also somehow linked because the dispositor of moon is again uh, Venus. Okay, uh, Venus is the lord of uh, Taurus, and he is in the trines to this eclipse. So you can also conclude somehow the fifth house is also linked. Okay. Uh, so therefore, uh, and the second house is the house of family. Okay, so the twelfth lord in second sometimes can take you abroad. So uh, therefore, you can understand that uh, something to do with, and if you check the fourth lord is already in the twelfth house. Okay, so therefore you can understand that something to do with foreign lands or uh, the third house, which is short distance travel or something like this, is happening. So therefore, how do you merge both the two actually? So. This means that this person can have a change of residence uh, for uh, working in a new job, okay? And the person may also travel abroad for and get another job, okay? Uh, or might have got another job and then he travels abroad. Or nowadays, like uh, in Europe or in Germany, they get six months visa, work visa, okay? Uh, it's not work visa, it's job seeker visa, sorry. So they can come here and then sit here for six months and then find a job here. So it can be something similar also, okay? Because um, Jupiter is the 12th Lord and he's dispositor of Mangal, who is the Lord of the fourth house. So, so either it is uh, now uh, this could have been, now if Mars was directly linked, this would have been related to education. So this person might have pursued his masters or, or PhD somewhere else. But now the fourth house is not directly linked; it's li in, linked indirectly, which means. The dispositor of the fourth lord, Jupiter, is involved uh, in trines to this eclipse. Okay, 
so therefore we can conclude that uh, this person um, can get a very good job by going abroad after this eclipse depending on what the dasha's permit okay so dasha will decide the scale okay so he may get a job in uh, google or microsoft or amazon or some very big company mckinsey or something or he may start his own business or anything that the dasha will tell the dasha gives you status okay what 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 will you earn what will be the monetary uh, gains of that uh, job or what will be the level of power and position that you will earn okay um, or how much will you enjoy the work how will be the people around you all these things have to be seen from the dashas you cannot just say oh jupiter venus are in trines he will get a good job no it doesn't work like that okay but yes we can understand that whatever the dashas are indicating depending on that this eclipse will show quite significant prominence in his life okay and uh, is the lagnesh in trines well the lagnesh saturn is not in trines to this eclipse but it is in the 11th house which also these days is like a house of money because these days uh, gain has become more a monetary gain okay so therefore you can say this person will also this eclipse will also change this person internally okay even if saturn is not in trines to this eclipse but uh, because it is in the 11th and 6th and the 11th are linked with money therefore okay so this is how you can tell and the fifth house is also involved because the fifth lord is in trines okay venus uh, to this uh, to this house of eclipse so something to do with education can also be there and the third house is also involved the third lord is there so third lord can show teaching okay so uh, we can uh, conclude that it can happen that this person can go and uh, get a opportunity to be a trainer or an instructor in some other country because the 12th lord is also involved you can raise the 12th lord and this can create a lot of changes in his workplace and uh, circumstances related to his daily work okay and if the ninth house was also involved i would have said this this could be a master's degree or a phd or a very senior level uh, guide or something like this okay now that can also happen in the dashas agree but uh, because uh, because the ninth house is not involved in this the ninth lord is also not involved uh, in trying to this therefore i would say uh, unless the dasha indicates strongly it doesn't seem that uh, he will be pursuing higher education okay as of uh, now with this eclipse alone all right so therefore this is how you can know and then you can go to the next level for nakshatras you can see which nakshatras uh, are uh, getting activated so for example which nakshatra venus is sitting okay venus is sitting in swati or it is sitting in uh, chitra or it is sitting in vishaka okay so this is how you can know which trait so suppose if venus is in chitra then the person might have to make a lot of presentations because i have seen chitra people prominent uh, chitra prominent people always uh, like to make presentations okay they like to draw they like to paint they like to see because chitra is art basically okay and then if it's in swati then the person will is definitely moving to a foreign land because swati means going away from your home hometown home place home country okay and then if it is in vishakha then the person may have two roles okay primarily the person may be a educator or a instructor and uh, and he might have some other managerial responsibility also okay so this is how you will know actually okay so the nakshatras will give you the next level all right so you check the horoscope then you check the dashas then you check these houses and then you see which planets are there which planets are there in trines okay uh and now suppose if this venus was not here in libra if this venus was in gemini then this eclipse would have been even more common this could have kind of become his life purpose because this eclipse is happening over the 10th lord okay so very crucial eclipse actually it would have been uh, more crucial if venus would be here would have been here okay so therefore uh, this is a way how you can understand and you can get an approach uh, by seeing nakshatras and the planets and because here the third and the 12th are involved i would say it can show displacement and uh, foreign lands all right there you go that is it from my side if you have not watched my earlier video then please go and watch it uh, you will find it here or here or down and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section all right and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what will happen during this eclipse all right 
What is there with you? All the time, just look to him and you will find him.